Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and in today's video, I'm going to discuss how to properly care for a badger hair shaving brush. Wet shaving was one of those discoveries that truly changed my life. Uh, whenever I was younger, uh, I really didn't enjoy shaving. I didn't look forward to it. I got ingrown hairs. I've got a particularly thick beard. And whenever I discovered proper wet shaving with a double-edged razor and a badger hair brush, uh, it just changed everything. Uh, I uh, started to really look forward to shaving in the morning. I got a better, cleaner shave. I no longer got ingrown hairs. Uh, and if it's something that you haven't tried out, I couldn't encourage you more to give it a shot. We have an entire video on how to wet shave. You can find the link in the description uh, below. Now, one of the fundamental components of a proper wet shaving kit is the badger hair brush. I mean, really next to the razor, uh, this is the most important accessory, and it's an accessory that you really need to invest in because if cared for it properly, a badger hair brush could easily last a decade, if not longer. And in all honesty, you're more likely to lose your badger brush than you are to wear it out. But that said, there are a few fundamentals of the proper care of a badger brush. Now, why badger? Badger is a natural fur that exists on the badger. All of our Kirby Allison Sovereign Grade Badger brushes are made from the highest quality, uh, which is the silver tip. Uh, this comes from the neck and kind of around the chest. Silver tip or super badger uh, is just the best by far. It's the longest, it's the softest, it absorbs the most amount of water, uh, and all those things allow this to do a better job. Now, what is a badger brush used for? Well, it is used to create a lather uh, to put onto the face. So there's really two uh, functions of the badger brush. One, uh, I like to use a bowl. This is one of our uh, Kirby Allison 100% uh, natural horn bowls. It's always nice to have a bowl, a good shave cream. Now in the bowl, you work up a nice, rich, thick lather. Now the natural bristles help you create that nice, thick, beautiful lather, but also one of the reasons badger is used for shaving brushes is that it is so absorptive of water, and so when run under warm water, it helps keep that shaving lather warm. Second is you use the badger brush to really apply the shave cream onto the face. Now one of the misconceptions with the badger brush uh, is that you have to be careful with it. Uh, really, badger is incredibly durable uh, and you should just go tough on it. I mean, part of what you're trying to do is to really work that shave cream into the skin to soften up the beard and prepare it for a shave. So don't go gentle on your badger brush. I mean, squish it into the face, uh, exfoliate the skin, you know, really work that shave cream into the beard to soften it up and to prepare it for a good shave. There's no way you're gonna wear this brush out, especially a high quality one like our Sovereign Grade brush. Uh, so really get at it, work the badger into the skin. Your beard is going to thank you. So after you've had that incredible wet shave, uh, it's essential to take a few seconds to make sure you properly clean your badger brush. The most important thing is to remove all of the residual lather out of the brush itself. I like to run my bowl under warm water and then take the brush and really work all the lather out of the brush itself. Again, you know, really kind of pushing that bristle down and working on it. Next, and very important, is to then get all of the water off the badger brush. Now, it's nothing more complicated than just taking your brush and really flicking it hard. A few strong flicks of the wrist uh, can really remove 95% of all that water. Uh, if you have a towel handy, uh, what I'll do is I'll just run the tip of the brush uh, over the surface of that towel to further remove uh, any final bits of water. So after you get all the water off, you want to allow it to dry. Uh, and most high quality badger brushes uh, just simply balance uh, on the handle itself with the badger facing up. And it's what allows the badger to dry in its natural shape. Now what you don't want to do is place it on its side to dry. You don't want to place it you know, on the actual bristles itself to dry. Uh, you really just want to simply place the badger brush on its handle to allow the badger to dry without being touched by anything. So as I said, you're more likely to lose your badger brush than you are to wear it out. And because of that, I think a badger brush is one of those items uh, that one should really invest in. Buy the highest quality badger brush you can afford because you are going to enjoy it every single time you use it. If you have any questions about the care of a badger brush or wet shaving, let me know in the comments section below. And if there's someone that you think uh, needs to be introduced to the magic of wet shaving, send them this video. Now take a look, we've got an entire collection of wet shaving products on our website at kirbyallison.com. 
course, it's how we support this channel. And we have an extensive video on how to actually perform a wet shave if you've never tried it before. Uh, check the description of this video for a link to that one. Uh, otherwise, I'm Kirby Allison, and I love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes while exploring the world of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition. Thanks for watching.